Do you know that feeling that you kind of look forward to reading a good book, like a self-development book, but you've got no idea which one to pick because there are like millions out there and some of them are completely not your cup of tea. Um, so I thought, why not have a little look at my own bookshelf and see what might be out there that you might like. Um, as you can see, I sort my books on color. <laughs> a little bit of, you know, harmless OCD on my side. Um, so let's have a look. This one, Attached, is very, very good. Um, it's about relationships. So if you would like to understand why, you know, some people in a relationship might get quite anxious, like needing a lot of reassurance if there's a little, you know, less communication, they get worried, like, have I done something wrong? Um, does he not like me anymore? Like all sorts of worries and wanting to be reassured all the time. And other people are actually a bit more avoidant. So they would not really like to hold hands in public. They get a bit itchy if someone wants to curl up against them in the bed and they don't really can like or enjoy speaking about their emotions. So if you want to understand these different attachment styles and ways of being intimate with each other, this is a very, very nice book. The Artist Way is very famous for people who want to be more creative again. So if you'd like to embrace your inner artist and your creativity and um, want to live a life with more, um, I don't know, photography or painting or museum visits or um, poetry or whatever it is that, that makes you feel creative, this is a really good book to get rid of any blocks and to start taking your own creative side more uh, more serious not a very good one for relationships getting the love you want um, he's got some good youtube videos as well if you google his name Harville Hendrix um, this one is always nice this is his second book A New Earth from Eckhart Tolle his first one is very famous um, The Power of Now which is of course about living in the moment so not to worry so much about what might happen in the future or to mull so much of what uh, has happened in the past but to be more aware of the here and now so that's Eckhart Tolle's book the power of now and this is his second book a new earth um, this one is beautiful if you like uh, to learn more about chakras it's a bit of an encyclopedia very nice when you have um, children that are growing up and I personally like very much to read Buddhist books. So this is a, a tough one. It's full on. Very, very beautiful. Um, and here there are some nice ones. Let's have a look. This is from a Buddhist nun about overcoming anxiety. A guide to fearlessness. Isn't that a marvelous title? So if you are a bit anxious, a bit scared, this is a very, very, very nice book. And there's also one for people who feel a bit down this one the zen path to depression also a buddhist philosophy book uh, on overcoming depression and experiencing more joy so those are just a few uh, i haven't even read all of these on here yet i realize uh, so i'm gonna do my some reading myself as well enjoy if you have any questions about the books feel free to um, feel free to let me know i look forward to hearing from you and enjoy reading. Bye-bye.